What's up YouTube? It's your boy JB and we're here today with a review for The Real Housewives of New York City Season 13 Episode 11 and the episode is titled The Witching Hour Okay, interesting name for the episode So you guys, if you guys are watching this video or any other videos on the channel and you're not already subscribed Why are we still going out on this date? Why, and, you know, at the end of it, I'm getting the bill paying for my meal you guys hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell button hit all the buttons light them up and without further ado let's talk about new york city housewives honestly it's probably gonna be a short review because the episode didn't give me very much that's what the last few episodes have been now am i gonna say that i'm not enjoying new york absolutely not i'm still enjoying new york it's just that they're not giving me a lot to go on but let's talk about it. All right, you guys. So the episode, um, it actually I th it picked up where we left off. You guys remember in the last episode, Sonia and Brashawn were arguing with we with one another, right? So, so Sonia at this point was asking Ramona, like, why did you bring Brashawn? Because production said so. Because you know she's a friend of the housewives at this season at this point. That's why she brought Rashawn, but okay, we're gonna play like she doesn't know why. But at the, actually, at this point, Sonya is drunk, so I don't think Sonya really was uh, coherent enough. So we only let that to go too. So then Ramona goes and talks to Rashawn, and she tells Rashawn that you know she's basically pushing um, Sonya's buttons at this point, and just to kind of lay off. Which that one I will agree with with Ramona. I just didn't agree with her calling her a clown. Like, that was what I didn't agree with in last week's episode was Brashawn calling her a clown. Somebody do, uh, 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 you know, stuff like that. I didn't agree with that. So I'm going to definitely give it to Ramona that, you know, she was being antagonistic. You know, she was, you know, egging Sonya on. So I'm definitely going to give her that one. I'm going to give her that. I'm going to let her have that one. But then Brashawn tells them, like, you guys are babying her. And then Ramona says, you know what, you're right. I'm like, Ramona, I gave you a compliment, now you take it back. But I, will, I guess I will say that they are babying her. They're, I'm not, I'm not going to say that they're babying her. I'm, saying that, I'm going to say that they're handling her delicately. They're handling her with kid gloves, so to speak. I don't think that they're babying her because... The way she said baby is like they're pacifying her. I don't get that. And then Ramona says, well, you know, she's just not as strong as you and I. Huh? Okay, Ramona. She's not as strong as you guys are. If you say so, Ramona, I'm going to go along with it. So then the next morning we see um, all the ladies as they're getting up and they're getting ready. So we see Leah. Leah calls Luann, right? So she tells Luann that Sonya and Brashawn got physical with one another the night before. So what happened is Brashawn went down to Leah's room to get a melato some melatonin from her. And Sonya was still there. And I guess Brashawn must have called Sonya, Sonya drunk. Sonya didn't like the fact that she called her drunk. Now I will say, Sonya, girl, you did get up in her face. And it was like, okay. And, but I will say though, like I said, Brashawn is taunting this. And I think the thing is, Brashawn was drunk. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be like, Brashawn wasn't drunk. Brashawn was drunk, but I don't think Brashawn was as drunk as Sonya was. And I think Brashawn could have stopped things, right, from escalating. Like, if you see that this woman, if you see, it's like a bull. If you see that a bull is, 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 is antagonist, if you see that a bull is at the point of seeing red, and they're ready to attack. Why would you continue to poke at it? Don't poke at it. And that's the issue that I have with Brashawn. You could you you already saw how Sonya was. Why did you then continue to provoke to continue to provoke? That's the issue that I have with Brashawn. Because at dinner she was already on one. And once you saw her at dinner, you know you should have been like, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna act, I'm not gonna do anything else to her. If she says something to me, I'm going to pay her dust. I'm going to ignore her. But that's not what Brashawn did. So then, you know, Leah tells um, Ramon, not Ramona, but Lou, that, you know, she had to get in between them two. 
And then, you know, we see that production came out and got him as well. And then on the way out, Sonya broke, like, you know, the fire extinguisher glass that was by Leah's room. So then Ramona comes in and, you know, they repeat, my bad, you got to burp in your face. They repeat what happened for Ramona, right? And then Luann starts to blame Ramona for, you know, um, giving um, Rashawn these expectations of what the ladies are. Now, now you guys know, I'm, I'm not the biggest Ramona fan, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, Ramona gave Rashawn the bad impression of what these ladies do. You guys have been on the, show, on the air for 13 seasons now. I'm pretty sure that, you know, Rashawn has saw clips of the Real Housewives of New York City and see the way that you ladies get down sometimes, when, especially when y'all go out on y'all trips. I'm pretty sure she saw the way y'all get down and she had her expectations. So we're not going to sit here and put this all on Ramona. We're definitely not going to sit here and put this all on Ramona. So then Ramona wants to say, suggest that they, um, wait, where are you at? Ramona's in here saying that Sonya drinks all the time and now they want to do an intervention for her. I'm like, this is a crock of bull. Did you, I mean, last season when it was those pills that she was taking, y'all didn't say anything to her. She was drinking the entire season. What season was that? Was That was season 11. Nope. That was season. It was either season 10 or season 11 when y'all... Was that when they were in Mexico? When she fell on her face? When Sonya fell on her face, when she was in that chair, she got up from that chair and face planted into the ground. Was that season 10 or was that season 11? I can't remember. But that was terrible when she face planted into the ground, into the, into the cement floor. But now y'all wanna say that she has a drinking issue and that she needs an intervention. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was season 10 it was either season 11 or season 10, one of the two, because Bethany was still around. And Bethany's only been gone since last season. I think it was season 11. I'm almost positive it was season 11. But now you need to do an intervention for Sonya. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play along. Not. Let's move on. All right, you guys, so the next day we see all the ladies. Well, actually, we see all, the, this is the next day. So we see the lady. like I said, we see the ladies getting ready. So then Ramona, she goes and talks to Bashan Wright. So she wants Bashan to come to her room so they could discuss what happened. So Bashan tells her side, she says that, you know, Sonya was drunk and aggressive, which I'm going to give it to her. She was drunk and aggressive, but like I said, the issue that I have with Bashan is I don't think Bashan. I know she was drunk, but she was, and she said in her interview, she was not as drunk as Sonya. So she could have just de-escalated that situation. But no, I think Brashawn just wanted a moment, honestly. Let's just keep it real. You're on television. This is your first season. What better, I mean, let's get into it. Let's, let's have a little fun. You know, when you listen to Brashawn talk, she sounds like Marlo from Real Housewives of Atlanta. So then Ramona says, but I asked you to leave it alone. Well, Ramona, you're no one's parent but Avery, so... If she wants to continue to egg Sonya on, that's her prerogative. That's her business. If she wants to do it, I wish she had not done it, but that was her business. So Bashan did say it went too far, and but she says it went too far, but she got in my face. And you don't get in a black person's face. That is 100% true. Don't get in my face. Don't put your hands in my face. Don't do any of that because you're liable to get pops. So, um, and then Bashan tells her, you know, I want to apologize to the ladies hold on you um now they'll leave a voicemail so Bashan says you want to apologize to the ladies for the comment about the grandma I'm like okay whatever um yeah, like I said, this video is not going to be long because, like I said, the episode just really wasn't much. I didn't realize how short it was. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and wrap up. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, the ladies, they were getting ready to go on their day. It was so awkward because at one point we saw Brashawn. We saw we saw Brashawn. 
we saw Ramona and Sonya, they were about to get on the elevator. <laughs> Brashawn and, 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 and Sonya didn't even speak to each other at all. Then we find out where they're going. It's going to be a 40 minute ride. I'm like, oh God, that is going to be the most awkward 40 minute ride. They got on a, on a little sprinter and lo and behold, it was awkward. They didn't have any kind of conversation with each other. I'm like, damn. Y'all went for 40 minutes and didn't have any kind of conversation with each other. And this is all stemming from the issues. And this all stems from the issues from um, Sonya and from, what's her name? Uh, Brashan. So they finally make it to the restaurant that they go into, right? And Brashan apologizes to the group. She's saying that with the group, she acted like she was familiar with the ladies when not knowing them, which I'm going to give her that. And I'm going I'm to give her bigger props for apologizing to the ladies because that took, that took a lot. But she was right. She did, you know, she was acting like she was very familiar with the ladies when in actuality, she's just, you know, meeting the lady. And then she addresses Sonya. And, but so actually, Sonya addressed her. And Sonya said that, you know, I felt betrayed by you because, you know, with you... You and I, we had, had had we had been having conversations, and we were opening up and connecting with one another. And they show us a scene of them on the bus where they were talking, and it did seem what they were opening up and connecting with one another, right? So, um, Ramona, she over there on the side talking about, I think she's gonna need a Kleenex. And Sonya told her, "Shut the fuck up." I was like, "Well, damn, Sonya, tell her how you really feel." But Bashan was able to apologize to Sonya, and Sonya was able to accept the apology, and they're able to move forward, which is a good thing. So then they're getting ready to go to this seance, right? I don't have much to say about the seance, but I do have something to say about. So Luann, Luann noticed that Sonya had got a drink as soon as they got there for the seance. Girl, you're filming a show. They're gonna provide you guys with alcohol. I don't understand what now. Lou and Ramona actually in this scene got on my damn nerves. The, the funny thing was, Lou was the one that wanted to address her. But then she's like, well, you know, you and Ramona, you and, um, and, and, and Leah can talk to her. But then Ramona's like, let me go get her. And you and, and Lou and Leah can talk to her. I'm like, huh? You know, I get it, Luann. You had your issues with the law. You had your DU, is it DUI, DWI, whichever one you had. You got arrested. I get it. I get it. It was a, it was a challenging time for you, but you put yourself in that situation, right? But I, I still empathize with you. The thing with this is they want to say, like I said, they want to say that Sonya has a drinking problem. But the thing is, Sonya has been drinking like this for seasons. If she's had this big of a drinking problem. Why y'all wait until now to address it? That's my problem. That is my problem. Why wait until now to address her drinking issues? So they pull her to the side. And Sonya says that, you know, she doesn't drink like this. I mean, she has alcohol at home, but she doesn't drink like she does. And I, I, I'm more inclined to believe Sonya because I feel like with Sonya, I feel like it is when they film the show, they provide, I mean, these reality shows, they provide them with a lot of alcohol because they want what? reactions from the cast to you know different things they will give you alcohol it's free and it might you know and I, I think sometimes it could be unlimited and I think that and I've said I said in last week's review I think the issue with Sonya is the fact that Sonya doesn't know what her limit is when it comes to drinking alcohol I literally think that's just what it is I don't think she's yet figured out what her limit is which is sad that she's a woman of a certain age and doesn't know when to stop drinking i think that's it i really believe that i don't think she is an alcoholic i just think she's someone that just doesn't know when to stop fucking drinking and i think she might be someone who mixes drinks as well like you might have a, you might have a beer you can go get some wine then you go get something dark then you just you just mix i think she's just someone who doesn't know how to stop drinking she may mix drinks we also know she takes she took medication with her um her drinking which intensified things but i just don't necessarily believe that she has a drinking i don't think she necessarily has an alcohol dependency so to speak because i know someone who has an alcohol dependency and sonya does not look like that person and, and she's in my family but um yeah and then they have the seance 
I'm gonna keep it with you guys the seance. I didn't listen to it because I don't believe in that stuff. I don't believe in it. I know, um, I can tell you actually, because one guy, he started with Luann. He said there was an uncle figure. She didn't know who he was talking about. Leah, um, they were mentioning her grandma. They were talking about her grandmother, Ebony, her grandmother, um, Sonia, her father who had a drinking issue, Ramona, her brother, and I think that was it. I don't know if they ever mentioned Brashawn. I don't know. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else. Share the video and until the next one, stay safe, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear a mask or not. But whichever one you guys do, be safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.